First of all, good afternoon. That's a very fancy title below a director of boxing. Um, always a spring on my step um, coming off the train in Liverpool. I've said that I've got more friends in Liverpool than I do in London. That's not saying much, but it's a, it's a fantastic city to promote in. It's a fantastic fight town, a true fight town. Um, unfortunately, I've been away for a few years. The last one I did here was Cam Smith, Eric Scotland at the World Boxing Super Series. Very different card. Saturday night, we've obviously headlining uh, Nathan Gorman back at the heavyweights. We've got Josh Kelly, who's made, out to make a statement, also returning. Um, but it's also, for us as Wasserman next week, we're in Australia, it's, it's part of, of, of the annual program, and, and you know, we're, we're glad to have boxing back. It's, uh, we're hoping to push for 25, 30 events this year. But the most fantastic thing, was on the last show, after all the efforts that the, the fighters made, all the warrior performances, and there were some great performances on the night, was, was my Monday morning when I got the, the, the WhatsApp from the from Sal, the, the head of sport at Channel 5, informing us that we cracked the million, the million viewers on, on the Saturday night, on the Friday night, actually. And it was, uh, that's what we want to be doing. You know, it's um, all the people up here, all the, the girls and guys, They've gone through terrific camps. They go through blood, sweat, and tears. You look at the fights, that's nothing compared to what goes on behind the scenes in the gyms. The, the fantastic trainers in here, the teams. But to have that rewarded, not with a few thousand viewers on television, but to have it rewarded with a million viewers is something very special. And you know, this is no, no disrespect to, to Linus or to Denzel last time. They weren't exactly household names. And it was about the quality of the fight. The people stay on their watch, and that's what we want. We want to attract new crowds. It's the crowds that don't attract on a normal sports platform that you used to see boxing on in the UK. Uh, it's um, a chance that we saw and grasped with both hands. It's something that it's every promoter's dream. And um, very hopeful that on Saturday night, all the girls and guys up here will, will take that chance and. Uh, and, and be seen. And we obviously turn to the big hitters as well for this main event, the, uh, the heavyweight to find for that IBF title. Um, just describe the opportunity that is sort of laid out for these guys. Whoever wins, what's next for them? Um, well, with an IBF into Continental, it's quite simple. It's top 15 ranking. Um, that puts you on the shopping list of the world champions, as simple as that. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, you know, for, for Nathan, it's, it's a massive step back. He was so close to coming out last, last month, and there was a last minute pull out that we had to do. Um, and, you know, he's had a long camp into this. Um, and it's credit to him, he's taken a title fight, coming back on the first fight of that. Um, the reward is to be up there in the top 15 of the world. And I can tell you from, you know, promote Philip Hergovich, who, it took us a year to go through those rankings, and you see the quality that's in there for the fights that you can be made that can be made uh, alone in the IBF rankings. So uh, for us, it's yeah, it's about getting Nathan back in the ring, but it's also as a dual mission on on Saturday night and that on Friday night, and that's to to make a statement. You know, Dubois went over won uh, the WBA version of a belt um, last week. And you know Nathan's on on a trail back, um, and it's an exciting domestic scene to immediately get stuck into. Um, but there's also, you know, there's a lot of potential in this man next to me, um, and that's something that I, it's it's a, it's a first step on our on our journey together. And on the card, we've got the the awaited return of, of Josh Kelly. He's back. You know. It's a little while sort of after the plan that we wanted Josh back, but are we expecting you know, some extra spy and then put punches now he's a, now he's waited a few extra weeks? I thought I might be, I might be getting the extra spy on them punches. Uh, I had to tell him uh, at eight o'clock that his fight was off at nine o'clock um, backstage uh, at the O2 in London, but um, it was one of the strangest things I've ever seen in boxing. Uh, we still don't really know what happened in the mind of the opponent. Um, at the end of the day, don't think that the fact it's it's a uh, it's been those weeks in between that it's sort of given him extra time. He's had to hold weight. It's been difficult for him. 
So yes, I do expect that extra, extra spite in those punches uh, come Friday night. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's the importance of the fight is the same as we, we said before the fight in London, um, and that's to have uh, to have Josh Kelly back in, a, in such an exciting division. Um, and you know, we all know we want to turn him around quickly after this, so we're hoping he gets through Saturday well um, and makes a statement. Um, and that's uh, you know lines up a big year. Thank you, Cal. Um, and we move on to, uh, again, a stack card with loads of great local fighters showcasing.